Well, we got some active weather ruining in from the west, and now we're seeing a severe thunderstorm warning for Erie and Tom Green County. Let's look right into it and waste no time with our weather headlines. We did see a red flag warning. As you can see in the background on my graphic, you can already see that thunderstorm rolling in here. But severe weather is making its way through tonight, and we're going to see some storms. This is going to be the initial start of it as these storms move linear from west to east. A cold front is going to help with that. It's going to bring us cooler, but let's dive right into it to see what's actually going on. Current conditions right now, we're seeing we're going to see some cloud cover build in, but it's 78 degrees. It feels like 79, dew point at 54. South, southeast wind right now at 20 miles per hour. It's getting a little gusty across our area right now. Here's that severe thunderstorm warning again, again, for portions of Erie and Tom Green County until 11 p.m. Tuesday. Again, this is just the start of what we can see going into tonight. Taking a closer look at this area here and mapping out with a line of storms infiltrating from the west into our region, already picking up on those magenta colors. This is a pretty strong uh, system here moving moving through Tom Green and Erie County, um, just pretty much west of Merton, and pretty much going to be going into the Great Peak area, maybe in the next couple of minutes here, and into San Angelo right now. May skin some of the heaviest and more dangerous storms in heavy rain to probably northern San Angelo, probably north of Twin Beach Re Reservoir, everywhere else. We can see this line of storms moving fairly quickly, but again, it's going to take a while to clear west to east. Probably won't get into portions of the eastern part of the Contra Valley until later on tonight. Again, Wednesday speeds. Let's talk about that across the Contra Valley. Seeing winds right now we're going to start to shift as we go into tomorrow, but right now to the south here in Tom Green, again that storm is pretty much right here in Merton in northern Tom Green County and into Crockett County may get a skim of that action as well. We'll monitor it as we go into tonight. Current conditions, rain already starting to affect those temperatures, dropping us down into the 70s overall right now with severe weather in the forecast. We're in a slight two category going into tonight. Already seeing storms pop up for us. Again, we're seeing slight category going tonight where we can see these following impacts. Again, already showing the heavy rain, the magenta colors, and also the dark reds. Damaging winds are with this storm along this dry line that's already starting to fire up. That cold front is following behind it. It's going to eventually get closer and make more dam damaging storms going into much of the eastern Texas. Already firing off some storms up into the panel in Oklahoma as well. We are currently under turn, uh, turn, sorry, severe thunderstorm watch for our area and further into the Oklahoma panel as well. Definitely seeing some more active weather going into tonight. And as you can see, the moisture is more greater to the east than it is to portions of the west. And we're going to continue to see intensification of these storms as they move into tonight. Now, going into the rest of your week, we'll be cooler after that cold front clears us out. We'll be into the 70s, eventually getting to the 80s by Friday, then Saturday and Sunday, possibly getting warm that day into the 90s overall, looking like some active weather season for us going into this week. Tonight it'll be warmer, but we would see some thunderstorms with temperatures and gusty winds. And don't be surprised that we have some hail with some of these systems as well going forward into tonight as well. Most of us won't even drop into the 40s. We'll definitely be in the low 50s for tonight. Warming up tomorrow into the 70s and seeing that trend going forward. Now, coming out to Wednesday, after we get through overnight, conditions will be windy and gusty. We'll see conditions continue to be out of the south and then swift to the northwest as we see that cold front comes through. It's going to clear us out, but we'll be in the 50s, trending into the 50s for most of it. Getting into the 60s by 10 a.m. and eventually getting into the 70s as we go into the rest of your week. The next five days, well, look something like this for our area. Well, we're going to see quiet weather after tonight, monitoring these storms in this next line that just came into our forecast. That cold front is going to be a reason why we see a possible to continue on to severe storms. We'll keep you updated here at KSAN News throughout tonight.